Welcome to paradise. I'm here in the middle of the Maldives on Lamu Atoll. And this spot is amazing, right? This is so beautiful. And this country is famous for its fantastic tuna. So therefore today, I'll make you a sesame seared tuna steak with a crunchy, nice, fresh salad, Japanese style. So guys, let's make it happen. Here we have the beautiful yellowfin tuna steak. So first I'm going to cut the loin in some beautiful rectangular steaks. So guys, first I have here some vegetable oil. And you just use a tiny bit on all sides of your tuna steak. And here I have some black and white sesame seeds. And I'm going to turn the tuna through the sesame seeds. So I've turned on the high heat, medium high heat to roast the tuna. So guys, time to sear the tuna. So we add this to the We give each side like 30 seconds, one minute. It needs to be crunchy from the outside and still tender and juicy from the inside while it's keeping its color. So I turn it around, first time, 90 degrees. 30 seconds later. And I turn it again for the third side. And the last one, side number four. So now I take out the tuna. We put it here. And now important guys, I'm here in 32 degrees, 33 actually today. Um, I don't have a fridge here, but what you do at home now, you cool it down immediately in your fridge. Because then uh, the cooking process will stop immediately and you will have it still in a nice color from the inside. So this will, won't be like 100% perfect, but it will be almost perfect. But in these sceneries guys, I mean, I don't care. I'd like to uh, uh, talk a bit about tuna because we should care about our oceans, we should care about the tuna stocks. Uh, on many places around the globe, tuna is endangered. Uh, it's overfished, but not here in the Maldives. This is the only country in the world where they have this law that you only can catch your tuna or your fish with a pole and a line. So it's one man, one pole, one hook, one fish. Um, which means that this fish is MSC certified, so it has this blue eco label where it approves uh, its sustainability. We're going to cook this amount of sugar snaps, this amount of asparagus tips, and take off the end parts. So I'm going to cook these in some dashi stock, which is a bonito flake stock from Japan, to give it a more, a bit of extra kick, a Japanese kick actually. But you can cook them at home with some water and salt too. So don't worry, I add these to the stock and I'll get them cooked until al dente. In the meantime, I'm going to make you uh, a nice dressing. Three teaspoons of soy sauce, some grated ginger, like maybe one teaspoon, garlic, I use one clove, and I'm going to chop it really fine. Now I add some mirin, Japanese cook wine, a bit sweet, just a tiny bit of sugar. Perfect. The veggies are ready. Take them out. And also here, if you are at home in your kitchen, use now some running cold water to cool them down. And again, I don't have the possibility here, but still it will taste really good. Next step, cucumbers. I'll make some nice strips. And some spring onion. I like to have them a bit diagonal, reddish. So I have no bowl, so what I do, I use my pen. I'll add the cooked sugar snaps and asparagus tips. I have even some bean sprouts here. Um, I mix some roughly chopped coriander through the salad. I'm going to add this dressing, like this. And now I high hustle this. And now the hero ingredient, the seared tuna in white and black sesame seeds. Cut this tuna, beautiful. And this is what I already expected. Um, in the first place, the tuna was not that red because it's a small tuna. Um, but because we didn't have the possibility here to cool it down, as you have at home, so do it. So it, 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 it went a bit through the cooking process. But still it's delicious, still it's juicy inside. I can taste for you. Mm, beautiful, the combination with the sesame seeds, it's really good. But here outside it's 33 degrees. 
which influences the cooking process. But it's all fine to me. We're going to build this nice plate. And now we top it off with the hero ingredient. This beautiful tuna. This tuna being caught this morning here in the Indian Ocean. A bit of extra cilantro chopped and I just had a bit of extra dressing on top. Guys, this beautiful dish, local caught sustainable tuna, pan seared with a crunchy salad in this beautiful scenery of the Maldives in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Guys, if you have any comments, any questions, leave them in the box below. Um, and if you want to see more delicious tuna recipes, click here on my channel and subscribe. Um, thank you for watching and hope to see you soon back on a new episode. Bye! So if you like this recipe, head over to my channel where I have another great video from the Maldives where I'm cooking tuna in the middle of the Indian Ocean on a traditional tuna boat. See you next time.